so I really like our pace. That's that's us at our best, getting up and down, putting that, those kind of numbers on the board. I love how we're sharing the ball. We have four people in double figures. We had the 14 threes last game, so sharing the ball at a very high level. Turnover piece we do want to clean up, so it's just a matter of playing at that pace with all of our newcomers and making the right decisions. A lot of those aren't forced. It's just our decision-making needs to improve. Is that something that will come with time, though? I mean, you, you're, you're have so many possessions, you're moving so fast, you're bound to turn it over a couple of times, especially early on, I would imagine. Well, I'm determined. It, <laughs> it better improve. But, uh, no, we're going to keep working on it in practice, and it will come with time and reps and things like that and understanding looks better and just all those things combined. Uh, a couple of them were just being too quick, even though, even though we want to be fast. Um, you do have to take an extra half second at times. So a few different areas to, to clean up, and we'll keep working on that. Is it also a situation where some of it is they just need to keep playing together as a team on a court against somebody else that's trying to take the ball away? Yeah, some of that, and then just some of it's just, you know, the fund of fundamental read, you know, of a basic pass. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm confident they're going to keep improving. As a coach, you've seen your girls get really close to the century mark a couple of times. Is it in the back of your head for them to get there as a team, or is it if, if, if we get there, we get there? Yeah, well, the fans booed me that first home game because we didn't take another bucket. So fans, don't boo me for that. But uh, we, um, you know, if we can get there, great. It's not like a game goal or anything like that ever. Uh, if we have an opportunity to surpass the century mark, we, we will do it. We'll always do it. Um, just not in the last five seconds or so of a game when we don't, <laughs> we don't need to take that shot. <laughs> from your perspective, what have you kind of seen from the – Offense that's allowed you to kind of spread everything out. Has it, has it been the three-point ball, or has it been like what you what, what you had mentioned? You got one through five that can shoot a three now. Yeah, it's exactly that. We have all five positions that can legitimately shoot a three, even when we sub. Everyone on our team can shoot a three, and um, again, it just it, it that's hard to guard. It's going to be really hard for people to try to double a, a Brittany and things like that because when you shoot the three at that kind of rate, um, it, it really puts pressure on the defense. Talking about Brittany, but how have you seen Sydney kind of step up in her role? And obviously, she had a game high the last time. How have you seen her kind of kind of develop into a better? Player? Yeah, I'm proud of her efficiency. Most of all, that's something she really focused on: being versatile and in efficiency with her three-point shot. And last game, you saw she shot it, and all those makes were in different ways. You know, off the dribble, off the pass out, uh, coming off a screen. So she was able to hit threes in a, in a multitude of ways, and that's that's what I'm most proud of. Um, for her to be able to feel that and, and see that come into play because she works so hard. She's one of our hardest workers. She's always in the gym shooting. I kind of feel like Northwestern uh, State's going to be a, a good test for your defense just because of the way that they drive the ball and it's going to kind of force your perimeter to kind of kind of work hard. Yes, it, it will be a test. You know, we keep playing a lot of teams that are very athletic that like to drive and kick and, and things of that nature. So it's important that we continue to grow defensively as well. And then just when we get the ball back, I want to make sure we're a little more efficient with it, you know, in transition, better decisions, as we mentioned earlier. But this, um, and we've got to take care of the ball against them. They're uh, leading the nation in forced turnovers at 30 a game. And, you know, they put all their, their eggs in the defensive basket. They do a lot of different things. They want to create chaos defensively all night long. And um, so taking care of the ball will be a big key for us. Is there a Big 12 team that they're comparable to that you can kind of use this as this is what we're going to use later in the season? Yeah, I don't, style-wise, probably, um, maybe the closest would have been a little bit of TCU last year, but um, I'm not so sure about this year because they lost a lot of their talent and I have not seen them play. Yeah. I think a big part of it is reading the defense. Um, I think given what they take us, and they gave us some threes last night, so we took them, um, I think we're definitely going to keep looking for Brittany on the inside. Um, but we want to shoot threes too, so we're a shooting team and we're ready to go. But I guess what have you seen different from Brittany other than the physicality that's allowed her to kind of jump out and get a couple bare uh, double doubles? Um, she's been super aggressive on the boards. She's been attacking and finishing really strong. Um, I think that that's been huge, her strength. She's gotten so much stronger. She's gotten more vocal. She's been a better leader for us. And so I think she's matured in a lot of areas this year. Is the goal at some point in the very near future to get the century mark? You guys have been so close, and it felt like you guys were really pushing to try to get it there and just didn't quite make it last time out. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I mean, I think first and foremost, we want to win the game. Um, but, you know, 100 points wouldn't look too bad up there. So I think definitely at some point get up there. Is it one of those situations where you go back on your film and you see one shot that you're like, if I had just hesitated, I could have had that? <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's kind of fun to think about that. Like, And that's the fun thing about season is there's so many games, so many opportunities. And so you can see mistakes or errors or whatever you want to call them. And then you move forward and get better. And so that's all we're excited to keep moving forward. What's Coach been preaching after the first two games that you guys are still needing to polish up a little bit? Take care of the ball. Our turnovers have to go down. 
Um, that's been a big emphasis for us. We got to make good decisions in transition, good transitions in the half court, good passes. Um, we got to execute better. From your perspective, how, how much has the three ball helped you all early on? Just either spreading out the defense or kind of helping Britt have a little bit more space inside. I think the three ball has helped us like tr tremendously. I think that's one area our team as a whole has gotten better at this year. Um, it's opened up everything. I think it's opened up the inside for Britt. It's opened up rebounding a lot. Um, a lot of times we know what shots each other are going to take, so we know when to rebound and how to time it. And so I think it's helped us all the way around. Coach, you know, from the get-go, talked about one you guys hit. Is it is it coming easier for you guys now? I mean, I know it's only two games in, but it yeah. seemed different two games in compared to last year. Oh yeah, I wouldn't even compare the two teams honestly. Um, I think we've we've been putting in the work and been getting better, um, and we've gotten in the flow. I think the first half of the first game we were a little jittery and trying to figure it out, a little bit rusty, and then uh, we kind of moved forward since then. And so we've got to get our turnovers down, and we'll be rolling. So. Is, that, is that a product of what you guys want to do though? I mean, you're moving faster, you, you have more possessions. I mean, are, are you willing to live with some turnovers, just not as many as you guys have had? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think we want to play fast. We want to get the ball up the court. Um, we have speed. We have a lot of speed between Boog and CC to push the ball up the court, and that's what we want to do. Britt can get down the floor. We can get some transition buckets, and we want to get those easy shots. Is CC speed even fair? No. <laughs> I don't even understand. I'm like, how is someone blessed with that much speed? It's ridiculous. Like, in practice, I'm like, I feel bad whoever's guarding her. So. <laughs> Sure, if y'all have seen film, but I guess what have you seen from Northwestern State, or what do you feel you all have come before that game? Um, I, obviously, they're athletic. Most teams we play are super athletic. They're a driving team, and so I think for us closing the gaps, get good help side defense, keeping the person in front of us contained, but defense will be huge for us this game. I would say just really buying into Coach's offense. Like everything she has planned for us, I know it's going to work. I know everything that that she's given us our role. So you know, just buying into everything just really makes me successful on the offensive end. You guys have come excruciatingly close to getting the century mark on your two games so far this season. While it's not necessarily a goal every game, how much does the team want to get that at least once? I think everybody wants to get it. I think everybody's like excited every game going into, you know, just having a good mindset of just playing and then we're looking up at the scoreboard. We're like, oh yeah, let's go, let's get it. So, you know. It, it, is Coach kind of holding you guys back toward the end of the games a, a little frustrating? Um, I would say I just trust her. So, whatever she say it goes. <laughs> going to be asking about the offense, but what have you seen from your defense that's allowed y'all to kind of play so well? Um, I would say our movement. We have really good movement at times um, in our zone defense as well as our men. So just the real good movement, getting in the lanes, especially Sid getting in the lane, getting the steals, it really gets us a real good transition offense. In terms of Brittany, I guess, what, what has she been able to bring, just being able to get rebounds and kind of ending those possessions for the, for the I, other team? I would say her rebounding gets us good outlets so we can get up the court and go and be everybody in transition. What's Coach harping most on in practice right now that you guys really need to clean up? Transition defense. Just getting back, getting our hands up, playing strong, uh, being in the gap strong.